ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing you need to do with your painting is bubble wrap it. Here I have bubble wrapped and foam wrapped it, but you don't need to do the foam. And then you need to get the measurements, which will be the width, the height, and the depth. Next, you need to purchase the wood for the panels. Uh, the amount you're going to need will be the length plus the diameter of the painting. Plus, you will need to get it high enough so it will cover the whole painting. So the depth of the painting uh, will be the height of your panels. Um, and then the thickness of the wood, get it around 20 mil. That will allow a screw to fit in there without splitting wood up too much. Next, you need your sheet material. Here, I am going to be using 5.5 mil plywood. For the size of this, it wants to be the width plus the height times two. Um, and then you want to add uh, the thickness of the wood that's the panels. So you want the width of the height of the painting plus the thickness of the panels. And then plus a little extra just to make sure you're safe. I'd say five mil. Now, before we start constructing this, you need your tools. Things you'll need are screws, a screwdriver or an impact driver, a saw, a bundle of clamps, a tape measure, a adjustable square, some nails and a hammer. And that should be about it. And then uh, maybe a little prayer before you start. So let's get on with this. This is Steve doing his thing. Okay, so you've got the wood cut. Now we need to uh, put painting on it, make sure everything's right. So we are gonna measure just to make sure everything's gonna fit. This is just to double check all my measurements were right. And they are, we've got absolutely loads of space. So what we're gonna do now is cut these, these, <laughs> to the uh, length of the board. These two have been cut to size, as you saw, nice and simple. So now I'm gonna fit the first one to the very edge. So I think the idea is for putting it here, uh, clamping it, these, um, then spin it around, put a few screws in, um, and then a bundle of nails. Should be pretty simple. You can glue this if you want, but um, seeing me, this is just a transport, it doesn't really matter, it you know, lasts forever. So now I'm gonna pop some screws in there. I don't really know what screws I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna see what I've got. They should do it. So I'm using 3.5 by 30 mil, um, six by one and a quarter. I'm not going to bother putting any nails in, that's probably fine. And now is to measure and get the other side on. Put the painting on, get the measurement roughly where it needs to be on the other side, fix that one in. This wood's a bit long, so I'm going to have to trim a little bit off. But I was doing everything with the painting facing down just in case it drops. The other one's going to want to go about there. So what I'm going to do is mark it. We're just going to draw a line. Fix this one first, and I'll just take the saw down the edge of this. Put some screws in. Right, so that's both and bits done. Um, you don't need to cut this edge off if you made it too long. You can cut it exactly if you want, um, which will obviously will make your life much easier. Um, when you ship stuff this size, every centimetre counts. So I try to make stuff as close to possible as um, is safe. So now I'm going to put the painting in there. We're going to do the same. We're going to jot up and measure out these bits to fit there. You need to measure this measurement from here to here not from the top because these are bowing out slightly so you want to measure the bottom right both of those are 107.6 so now i need to cut that and you're in the way and i'm going to put this one on the very end and do exactly the same as i did last time just clamp it and screw it on right you will have a gap here and the other end because this is bowed out. Now we're going to screw these in. We can either do this before or after we fit this. I'm, I'm going to try doing it before and see what happens. <laughs> right, 
There we go, fits really well. So, if you can see here, if I put the end panel right on the end, we've got quite a bit, well not quite a bit, two fingers worth of that bad phrasing, isn't it, sorry. So, just jutting up to the, the edge of where the paint will be, and that's where we shall fix him, right there. Let's do that, get some clamps on that so it doesn't move. Get the painting out and do the same. We've just got to put the edges in, screws through the side. This is back, back again, Steve is back with bubble wrap. And right, so let's line this. Put the flat side on the thing you want to protect from the bubbles on the outside because then it takes the pressure. So this is just going to lie in here. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, so she's in. Right. Now, if you forget, we've got to do something now. We need to measure the thickness of these because this is where we need to make sure we don't fucking screw with the painting. Do it again, when we're doing this, put your painting face down, because if you do fuck up and you put a narrow screw th and miss it, it will go into the wood of the painting, not the painting, so it won't hurt it. I'm gonna measure that. Again, I'm gonna use the twirly-whirly thing and uh, just get the exact measurement. Which is there. And now, let's get the top. God. Get that on there. It should all, nice, all start squeezing nicely together. Um, of course, you remember there's a slight overhang, which will be on this side. So what I'm going to do is I will attach it everywhere, and then we'll just uh, shave off that overhang like we did last time. Uh, I'm going to put some clamps on this just to hold it still while I'm the initial nails in. Okay, so now we're ready to put some screws in. As I said, we will admit measure what the uh, wood was. I took that measure, what I'm going to do is put the pencil on the side and run it right down the edge using this to guide you. So if you see I put that in there, can you see it? And then that just guides all the way down with your pencil on the, on the side and that will give you the width of the wood. So I'm going to do that now. So as you can see, here's the line I made. And I did that by, this is going to be possible, because I haven't got that like that. And then I put the pencil on the side, I'm gonna hands and just run it down like that. So that's how you do that. There we go. Just a bundle of screws down there. Excellent. Right, now I'm gonna do the same to that side and the top. We're gonna to have to just do the same thing, down and screw, bam, etc, etc. fragile tape on this, um, I'm going to use a stencil, same fragile, put the dress on and that's it. That's it. Well thank you for watching this video, I hope it helps you in some way. Please let me know what you think, let me know if you use my video to make a box, um, that'd be nice to know. Subscribe! And uh, I hope this helps, and uh, please check out my artwork to see what I'm much better at. <laughs> uh, take care, goodbye. If that had gone into the camera, then brilliant transition.